In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look together at adding images to your title slides. It can be an image that goes next to text or it can be a background. And there's some positives and some negatives. We'll show you about both. So I'm going to go in my title room, click on the T on the left side, and drag my plain vanilla default title down to track number two. And I'll double click on it in order to get into my title editor. Uh, we'll go ahead and right click on here, pick a character preset, and then we'll make it a lot bigger so we can see what we're working with here. And then I'll reduce the size of that panel. Okay, so I have a title on my title room. It's in track number one of the title. So let's assume I want to add a, an image to that. All I do is go up above the preview window and click on what looks like a flower to me. Click on insert image. I'll pick one. I'll use my baseball cap I've used a lot. And I can position it and resize it anywhere I want. Now I can use some of the object features on the image. I cannot use the effects. I cannot use the motion because it's an image object. It is not a title. Uh, but there still are a few things I can do. The default is to fade in and fade out. And I can change the, the nature of that by dragging these sliders shorter or longer. I can flip it. Uh, I can put a border around it if I want to. Uh, let's take a different color for contrast. We'll take something uh, green here. And there I have a... Uh, increase the size of it so you can see it there's a green outline um, but I cannot add any keyframes to it because uh, it doesn't have them I can't possess them I could actually put another uh, title in front of it or behind it right now if I drag it in front of my title it will be it will stay there because it's on a higher track to change that I'm going to uh, move this arrow here and then I can just drag and I can make it so the now the cap is in the background and now if I move my title it will superimpose over my image so that's a way to deal with that kind of thing so there are some things you can control there are some things you can't your title has position scale opacity rotation etc keyframes your image does not it has a few settings that you can adjust over here, but that's about it. Uh, so if you want to put an image in your title, you can. Watch what happens when I click on OK, and then we'll click up here again. Notice I don't have the image up here in my media room, and I don't have it on any of the tracks. It's embedded in my title, which is can be good, can be bad. Um, if I take my title, for example, and uh, put it in track one. I'll take this video, drag it down to track two. Uh, the video being in a higher number track will overlay the image and I can do a picture in picture if I want by making it smaller. Um, but uh, there, the, the title and all that it contains uh, will automatically be played definitely apart from anything on another track. So these two guys are hooked together because that's what I did in my title. I'm going to move this to the side for now. And then we'll go back to our uh, main uh, title again. And we'll double click on it one more time. Let's assume uh, instead of an image in the title, I want a picture behind the title. I'll click on this one, right click, and I'll do delete. And now I'm going to click on the square with a plus on the lower left side. That's insert background. And I'll pick a picture here of a waterfront. And when I put a background in, I can stretch it to fit. I can use a letterbox where I maintain the ratio and have black bars on either sides, or I can crop. I'll pick crop now. And so now I have an image here. Uh, again, the good news is if I click on OK, the image is not on any of the tracks. It's not even in my media room. It's embedded in my title. But once again, if I want something else on the screen at the same time, 
I have to either uh, I have to make it smaller because I cannot make my image smaller. There is no way to resize. If I click on double click on this again, there is no way to resize this. It's all one. So uh, uh, that's that's uh, that's true with a title, but it allows me to do something where it's embedded. It's there for good and I don't have to worry about accidentally changing it. So here I'm playing my movie and I've got my title and everything and then my spokesman comes up in another window. But that's what you can do with a background. So you can put a background or an object in your title if you want. And you have some control but not as much as if all these items are on different tracks. But the good news is you also lessen the risk of messing something up you've taken a long time to construct when it comes to titles in CyberLink PowerDirector.